morning everyone. This is Trishti Singh and this is Dhwani Vankar. We are the students of Saraswati International School and today we are going to give our take on a very crucial environmental concern which is growing e-waste generation. Let us first know what actually e-waste is. E-waste are electronic devices which are unwanted, not working or nearing the end of their useful life. In the past two years during the pandemic, we realized that our dependency on electronic gadgets has increased quadruple times. This means that the e-waste generation also must have increased quadruple times. This influenced us even more to, in to choose this particular topic for our exhibition. Let us know what are the sources of e-waste. The main sources of e-waste are household appliances such as TVs, refrigerators, IT equipments and electrical devices. Now let us know what are the types of e-waste. E-waste can be broadly classified into small and large equipments, small IT and telecommunication equipments, screens and monitors, and temperature exchange equipments. Let us know the harmful effects of e-waste. The e-waste which are improperly disposed in the environment cause air, soil and water pollution. The toxins released in the air causes respiratory diseases in humans and also impact animal and plant species. They contaminate the soil which reduce the plant growth in the near future. They also pollute water sources which causes the killing of marine life. E-waste situation in India Mumbai ranks highest in the e-waste generating states of the India who is followed by Delhi, Bangalore, Kolkata, Chennai, Hyderabad and Pune. Only 22.7% of the total e-waste generated is dismantled, collected and recycled. So a majority of the e-waste is not recycled or taken care of. The steps to tackle e-waste are the three R's. Reduce, reuse and recycle. The process of e-waste recycling consists of manual separation, shredding, magnetic removal and metallic and non-metallic separation. The government's approach. The Indian enforcement agencies who are involved in helping for the e-waste recycling are the Ministry of en Environment and Forest, the Central Pollution Control Boards. The two government agencies help in recycling and collection and management of the e-waste in our country. Proper awareness, education and most importantly, a cost-effective alternative technology is required to address the problem and face the challenges that are, pay, uh, that are faced by India in the e-waste management. Thank you.